What is up YouTube? I hope you're enjoying my VCV Rack modular software series so far. Today we're going to be looking at mixing modulation sources to create some varying movement in your sounds. Let's dive into the software and have a look. So we were running out of space a little bit, so I just zoomed out slightly and sort of did a little bit of uh, house cleaning. I want to show you guys a cool concept that often goes overlooked when you're getting into modular synthesizers, and that's the ability to use a mixer for a lot more than just a mixer. So what I want to show you guys is the concept of using a mixer to mix instead of audio sources to mix CV or modulation signals. So let's add a, another Bifaco mixer into our rack over here, and then what we can do is we can add an LFO. I'm going to use the fundamental LFO1. I'm just going to place it up here for now. We can send the sign output into input 1 on the mixer, and then the CV input that we were sending into the release of the ADSR. Let's send that into number 2, and then let's send the output of our CV mixer into that CV input again. Now we can mix the modulation sources to create an LFO that varies the sound of that release, as well as the step sequencer that we set up in the previous example. So let's have a listen to what that sounds like. Cool, and we can apply that theory to something else, like maybe a filter. So let's send our synth voice through a filter. So let's add a VCF, and then this output from this mixer over here, let's send into the input, and then let's send the LPF output into the VCA. So we've now put this in line on our synth voice. So now what we can do is we can create an ADSR to affect that filter, but we can also create an LFO and then mix the two modulation sources similarly to what we did with our rhythmical pattern. So I'm probably going to have to create a little bit more space over here, so let's do that. And let's add an ADSR, send the gate of our synth voice into the ADSR like that. And then let's create another Bifaco mixer and then we can create another LFO. We can either create another LFO or we can use our existing one, depending if you want a sort of more random type of pattern that's sort of slightly more chaotic, you can create a, a new one. Uh, or, or you can use the original one to create a sort of varying pattern where those two sounds sort of work together or work conversely uh, with each other. So let's send the sign output into our mixer along with the ADSR. And then let's send the mixer's output into the frequency input of our VCF. And then let's turn, just turn these up to random settings over here. Let's turn our ADSR settings down. And we'll get, we're going to need to turn this frequency CV up over here. Cool, let's listen to what's going on now. Now we've created a pretty cool way to sort of perform these sounds because all we need to do is we need to go and we need to play with these different sort of CV mix signals and we're instantly creating different sort of movements in between our different sounds. Or conversely, we can play with the LFO speed 
and we're creating different sort of sweeps through those sort of variations. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. It's a little bit easier to understand when you're listening to the sound. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's how you mix modulation sources in a modular environment. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If there's anything I missed out, let me know in the comments as well. If there's something that you want me to discuss in a future video, also let me know in the comments. As always, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. See you guys next time.